deepest, darkest Africa is no longer the horror show it once was. Here in the Republic of Congo, decades of the bushmeat trade had destroyed the lives of many wild animals. This bloodthirsty poaching relied on the local Bayaka people to hunt their forest neighbors. And until the 1990s, studying Western lowland gorillas was thought impossible. Researchers couldn't get near them. In desperation, the primate rehabilitation program turned to the gorilla's main enemy for help. They hoped the Bayaka's hunting skills could be used for good. The results here at the Dezanga project were groundbreaking. Six teams head out into the rainforest every day. Mbanda has worked here since the project began. He knows that elephant paths are super highways through the jungle. But using them spells potential danger from an angry bull. Mbanda leads the way to where the gorillas were reportedly last seen. They make an important discovery. Gorilla nests are where the great apes spent the night. These gray hairs came from Makumba, the silverback male and leader of an 11 strong family. They're hot on the trail. Soon, more tangible evidence, a knuckle print. Fruit, chewed just minutes ago. The Bayaka make clacking sounds to let the gorillas know they're coming and to identify themselves as friends. Persecuted for thousands of years, the gorilla's only escape was into the forest. But now, the Bayaka can follow this family's every move. They've even gained the trust of Makumba, the mighty silverback leader. The Bayaka had been tracking his family for 10 years. Gradually, thanks to their painstaking work, the gorillas have learned not to flee. The trackers know every individual and every character. They earn a living by working with the Primate Rehabilitation Program to introduce researchers and tourists to their new gorilla friends. The Bayaka have developed incredible insight into the once secret life of the Western lowland gorilla. <laughs> 